Hi, Scissor in here, and this is going to be kind of part two of the play with me. There was a request for people basically wanting to see how I do the startup maps. So instead of transferring my character, I am going to handle the startup maps. And um, yeah, other than that, it'll be basically like a uploaded stream. And we'll just do the first few hours of, well, I don't even have uh, all my passives yet. So we're going to finish that off. We're going to kill Valenta. We're going to kill Yugol. Slash passives is really, really good. Once you've killed Katava, it'll show you what you're missing. Sometimes you'll have high-level characters that are missing resistances. Resistance. Um, and now, my character is not resist capped. This is all the currency we have. I'm only using the four basic currency or such tabs. No. We're going to sell everything in my inventory. None of this is any good. This one is actually decent, but it is not better. Well... Do you know what? It kind of might be. It kind of might be. So this is hybrid life. I'm trying to think. We're, I think I have access to one more life. So we can show how we find that. Uh, because not everybody knows that you can see here by scrolling down where you get things. So the next one is in uh, Crimson Township and the other one is in May. So we don't have access to more. But that means that this can be, with 55 life, it can be like 80 something life. Which is pretty decent. And it does have higher resists. So I think we will take it. I think we will take it. It also has a large amount of evasion. It's kind of worth qualitying. I really wish I had more. I'm very low on armor straps. That's something we used to sell to get wisdoms as well. But let's get one red on it for now. There, we're going to switch that over. It's better than my current chest in total resist. Now we might not need the resist that is on it. So now we're 79, 41, 63. That means we need more lightning and cold resist. Right now, the worst thing we have. Sorry, I can't help with stuff like that right now. Interesting weapon though. Uh, the worst thing we have right now is ring and amulet. Ring and amulet. So we're going to show because now now I've done the bad thing, right? Like, I've killed Kitava before fixing my rest. And this no. is a problem for a lot of people. You should never do this, and I usually don't. Uh, but it's a it's a good way to show uh, oh, how to handle that. So there's a couple of ways. So I don't specifically need a large amount of strength. So that means... <coughs> I'll show you a trick. There you be. First, let's try to Freedom get a decent first. amulet. Um, And let's just say... Oh. Well, anyway... So we'll take, I actually need strength. So let's take the uh, a strength and int amulet. For freedom. And then we're gonna first, we'll try to see if we have any essences. We didn't get anything good. Long. Now, prepare for your minds to be blown. We're gonna grab a lot of wisdom scrolls. So actually, like I won't be able to use this for quality. We're gonna need wisdoms. And now, it's mind blowing time. Let's see, we'll vendor that. Don't want anything else in my inventory. Only. Mind blowing time. Right there. Um, so I'm buying a bunch of gems. Why is he doing this? What could he possibly be up to? There. Now, we're gonna grab a C. Uh, what currencies do we have? We have some essences. We'll use those first. None of them are greed, or none of them are like resist essences so these are great to use then we have alchemy so we have six so we have a couple of tries here ah uh, yeah i'm on the wrong scene actually we are on the wrong scene um there's not that much on any scene right now because we're just setting up now we will get free scourings with this sweet combo because we won an onyx amulet anyway we need a little bit of strength we don't need a lot and uh, this will just scour the amulet. Boom. Did not get a good one. Now, this is really, really good when you're poor. Are you poor and destitute? Are you just starting maps? You really need a good amulet. This doesn't work on anything else. But it will work for getting us a good amulet for cheap. The scours, I have very little of. I have very little scours. So I'm rendering a red and a green and a blue gem. Again, this is only usable on amulets. If that had an open suffix, we would have taken it. So we're looking for life and resist. <laughs> and ideally open suffix. Thanks so much for the sub, Agro. Agro just subscribed. 
This one is pretty nice. Um, but it's not good enough. Because we, we're really low on resist. However, it's good enough that we are going to keep it. Good to see you still kicking. We're going to keep it yes. and uh, buy a second one. For freedom. We also want to keep, ideally. Let's see, do we have anything else to turn things? We do have Chaos Orbs, which we don't want to do. If we're trade league, obviously we could just buy gear at this point. Um, but we do want to keep at least one alchemy. That had resist. Would have been great. We're very low right now. Do we have any regrets? We don't. It's not looking good. We want to keep at least one rest for that one amulet. It's 13. It's so little. Other than that, it is really nice though. But this is less rest than what we have or what we can craft on that. And it's fire on that, so I can't really use it. I think we, uh... I think we do that, and we craft cold res on it. And we'll keep this, because it's not bad. It's good to have an amulet with a lot of res on it. That's always a good thing. Remember, We're going to craft cold res on the amulet I found. We do have an exotic coinage. Um, that can let me reroll two yen. That's really, really good to do. Hail. We have to use chains fully. So let's see, Tuyen, what are you selling? Nothing right now. So little. So little. I'd have to get alchemist or something for common. Huh. I'd have to have that on me. We can try. Good luck. Can try one reroll. Always love these exotic coins. Okay. That's unfortunate. There's nothing here I can really buy. Don't give okay, up. that's fine. We didn't want that anyway. So, we're going to craft cold rest on this amulet. We'll use the one elk one, use our last elk. There, decent amount of cold rest. 61, 68, 63. Um, and now we're going to have to start farming more currencies. There's nothing else that we can craft on our gear. We all have pretty garbage gear. Now, there's two ways that we can solve this right now for our build. We can do here. This is 18 all rest for these three skill points. And then here we have um, 12 Ulris for two skill points with evasion. So then we'll see. Is 12 enough for what we want to achieve right now? Not really. What about 16? So right now our lowest is um, 75 minus 61. So it's 14 res is what we need. And this is 12, 16. So this is enough for three points and gives us three evasion. This will give us a jewel slot. We don't have a good jewel. Helmet not enchanted? No, we haven't done Merclam. We haven't done Merclam, so we haven't had access to one. But we're going to grab these three now, and that will rest cap us and give us a little bit of evasion. Um, and we don't care about the mastery here. We don't care. The movement speed isn't bad. Other than that, let's see. Oh, I usually have size path of building up, but I do not have path of building on this. Uh, let's see. Find that on YouTube. Scissor and Sigh. We have POB in my YouTube, I think. Download POB here. There. No, I'm not playing that right now, TV. Yeah, the max cold risk isn't bad. It's not bad. Let's see. We don't have any refund points. We do want to get rid of the 30 in here at some point. Uh, I can't remember. You'd have to look at the guide. Should mention it if there is. Okay. More info. Run anyway. I don't have that ability on the new PC. And then we will just grab the paste bin. Run path of building community. We're running the entire community. There. And we'll see. Right. Uh, I'm trying to remember what we we're going next. Oh, we're going this next. There. Now we have even more damage. We're rest capped and we have 4k life starting out maps. And we are missing two skill points. We're missing two skill points. So let's go get those first. We're missing Yugol and we are missing uh, Valenta. There, I have path of building now. 
we'll go do that first. And we should have like very, very large amount of damage. Very large amount of damage. Is this with Pathfinder? No, this is a, uh, this is not a Pathfinder. This is a Saboteur. Shadow. That was fun. It's neither a witch or a ranger. We'll do the side quest here. This has a nice jewel that's actually pretty decent. Pretty decent jewel. An essence, we do want to pick out like basically every essence we can. It's super important on your early characters. It's just so good to have like free alchemies. We're gonna go do the trial because we don't have Merc Lab yet, which we do want. Just need we do want Merc Lab. It's either Yugle area or the lab up here. Somewhere. So nice to have like good FPS. First to the bathhouse. We'll go find the uh, trap first. Now very often something that's like making you struggle on int on a build would be that like, your utility such as flame dash and you don't necessarily always need to keep them high level. Very often like if it's like a skill point or two I will just use a low level flame dash. But it is nice to be able to get enough stuff to have it high level because you get higher cooldown recovery. That is pretty important. There. Oh, nice oasis. No problem. Up here, and and this character, we have so much regen that we can like, we uh, aren't in like much danger from degens. They're so slow. There, we'll grab this. Do I have a filter? I do. I do. What are we testing? Nothing anymore. I don't know what the uh, what the title is. Oh, test stream. Let's see if it works. Um, we can have we can change title to like the start of Maps Explained or something. So that's what we're doing now. Any mod to change it? Um, we're basically gonna quickly explain what I do at the start of maps, like after you kill Katava, how I handle the early end game, and then we're gonna be switching. We're gonna be switching to um, Soul Self on Hardcore, and I have loads of gear for this character there. Awesome, thank you. Haunted Mansion map. Let's see, want to pick up as many maps as you can. So nice this is bypasses proxy shields. They're so annoying for very many builds. There's some very common boots that we want for this character, Deer Stalkers. They basically give us a five link for exsanguinite trap. Very good early. You see we have so much evasion that porcupines aren't much of an issue. That is an attack, not a spell. They're very, very scary because they can get Ellie damage. Oh no, I don't have a hotkey. Oh wow, I've forgotten like all this stuff. Needs to be um like I changed my health keys. Normally. Yeah, on the new PC, none of that is set. Input uh what's it called? Like end delirium? Blood crucible what's end delirium called? There. Actually called end delirium. Log out macro is set and tested. And I like I have a habit of just spamming my slash remaining anyway, just so I um just so I know that my log out macro is on in case I need to use it. You see a lot of streamers have died to their log out macro not being online. I just test it regularly because of that. There. Oh, also another thing with the new PC, Just we're never gonna have the um the problem where audio is not being recorded anymore. I like scene six is default and everything now. There. Can confirm, maybe yeah. 
So we, uh, I'll never reinstall that. Why are you still I installed basically the, the reason that started happening anyway. You I installed the Twitch audio no crashing. So we'll just grab this for mana restoration. That's what I usually bring if you get one to well. And then the shield just has a life bring in one. Back so yeah, go for it. Here, we'll go do Valenta. Uh, I smashed my macro, okay, Sam? Huh? Mm hmm We can do that later today, maybe. Are they coming tomorrow? Yeah, we'll do that. I probably won't stream a light long time today. I just want to test to make sure everything works, and then regular stream from tomorrow. Yeah. Um. Oh. Like my least favorite food. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, am I with Helena's parents? No. <laughs> Best you not right now. <laughs> Definitely not Jing. I have said, yeah. So the one cemetery turn free. Uh, yeah. Um, mm, what kind of food do you want? Yeah, I would love uh, Mexican. I don't mind any. Like just burritos or whatever. Looks like this is belly. <laughs> what, what month is she? Ninth. Ninth. Yeah. <coughs> ten, ten days today until due date. Ten days until due date. Then I will be a dad. Well, I guess I'm a dad already. But... Um, yeah. Oh, nice, Emma. Also, I've really been missing. You're missing Pile of the Bank cell? I can. I. Not just like I've just been missing sitting at a computer like playing like for hours. Nice. And it's really annoying because I've so much other. Oh, well, you have PCs do. now. Yeah. Noogie's getting new monitors so we can get our monitors back. Yeah. Also, maybe I can get this. This is the one. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get new monitors That's for myself. <laughs> yeah, I just need a ton of weight. Well, Yeah, actually, Helena doesn't like Mexican food now that she's pregnant. I love it, but it makes her vomit. Yeah, it makes her vomit. She loves it, but it makes her vomit. It's my, my favorite otherwise. Yeah. My my hands hurt so bad. I actually don't think I can game very long today. I think I like fucked up here when lifting. I'm like, yeah. Got a name? Yeah, Liam. Little Liam. Alright, we're just gonna do the lint real quick. Love you. No um, on uh, I don't know, I just started. Probably be at least three or four. Liam Neeson. Dad Gaming University Edition. I was thinking for the next PO University, I would do the entire season, be a lot more practical. I was thinking. To just change it up for once. Good to know already. Well, I haven't fully decided. I was going to talk to you about it. I was going to talk to you about it. Could do both as well. There's so many options. You're going to use them this year? I do really want to do something like that one day. It'll be fun. There, Valenta is dead. And now we are more ready for maps. Is kind of thing the same? Oh, cool. Yeah, because I was thinking it could be a uh, a good time to like change it up for one season. For freedom. There. Nothing freedom good on those. We would be looking for high movement Remember. speed, high life, and resists. There, we'll do passives again. Now, see that we have 24. You should either have 24 or 22, depending on your bandit choice. Um, and then I am going to go to the epilogue. 
Take land on Abby. Well, Abby is like an actual gamer though. Abby plays a lot of video games. Dude, my, my hand feels so weird. I don't know what it is. Feels so weird. Uh, we can take this. That will give us a lot of spell suppression. It's really good. We're currently at 34. This will pop us up to 55. We are now going to go for Inveterate. We want to be close to 100 spell suppression. Cleans that up? Yeah, so good now. Bro, you lifted your 60 kilo computer? True. Too much clicking? No, it's I'm not used to carrying. Oh, maybe it's the screwdriver. You're right. It, like, when I do this, when I do this, this hurts. So yeah, I think you might be right. It's also from pulling, I think. Oh, nice guitar. Last, maybe the 21 month resub. Last four underscore SSN just subscribed. What was that? Screwdrivers fucked me up too? Damn. Forearm damage from squeezing screwdrivers and carrying? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because normally I, I'm very lucky. I don't get much like wrist pains and stuff, even though I like use my wrist a shit ton. And I think a lot of it is that I. My hands kind of used to it. I'm I'm doing the same stuff all the time, right? Like I don't I don't have change because when I switched to the Model O mouse, that hurt. But yeah, my hands feel really fucked today. So I'm uh, definitely not like a mini air a large amount today, and then tomorrow we should be able to do more again. Just need a moment. I'm exhausted from yesterday. Was an experience. What's up? Search and destroy, men. We'll clear a path. Search and destroy. Nice to carry. carry in game. Don't worry. Don't worry. Duffel is damaged? No, but I mean, you know what I mean. It hurts. It's just sore. It's just not used to being used. There. So, this is the pre quest you need to do before maps? Yeah, it's so good music. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Think about buying a hard drive, and I don't know if I should just buy another SSD, which is bigger, or if I should just buy like a like a twelve. What what what's the biggest hard drive space you can get now on like external ones? Maybe I just buy a massive external hard drive, because I have a two terabyte really good SSD. Eighteen, yeah, maybe I buy like eighteen terabytes. But it's for recording footage. Is that NAS? I don't know what that is. There, now we are ready to go to maps. So now we have fixed our resists. We are um, ready to go to maps. And then we get offered maps here. I'm going to take... Um, Either Esther, Haunted Mansion, Dungeon, and Stagnation are just like bad maps, right? They have bad bosses. Uh, Esther, you have good bosses, and it's a good layout. Esther is just a nice first choice, and we already have a Haunted Mansion. Now, important to mention for new players, even before you find Kirak, or sorry, Zana, Kirak will sell you maps. It's a little bit confusing because he doesn't sell you maps until we've done our first map. So now, once we kill the boss in here, Kirak is going to sell you tier 1 maps. We get a lot of people that are like, hmm, I ran out of maps, now what? Well, you can still buy maps from him. And then a lot of people are wondering, when do you get Zana? You get Zana after completing your first tier 3 map. Now, this is a really, really big benefit about farming, for example, either Harbor Bridge or Blood Aqueduct for a large amount of time, is that you get so many maps that you might actually be able to vendor all the way to a tier 3 map. Because you just need 9 tier 1s, or a little more than 9 tier 1s of the same one, to be able to sell all the way that. So, that is what I usually do very often. I will vendor maps to uh, to get either quickly to a tier 2, and then hope I drop a tier 3, or all the way to a tier 3. This boss is kind of annoying, since it has stages. We ideally want things to have one stage, because now he's going to switch. Also, my mana potion isn't that great. We want an eternal. Just need a Catch my 
And obviously I want to use my cat eye thing. And then we're going to be picking up a lot. My filter hides more than it should, to be honest. Yeah, the PC's fully uh, finished now. You see, like, it clears really nicely already. For rare, so you can throw it on a seismic if you want, especially if you're gonna stay in the same area. So nice to be able to free trap for things like essences. They are pretty tanky. You see, I, we are struggling with mana because we have a bad mana potion. Loathing, always a good essence to have. Do a let's play filter. Well, I would just recommend the basic never sync one. I wouldn't make a new one. And then now we're in maps, we're going to be finding like large chunks of like decent amount of wisdoms and portals. As for chests, I hate this map because when they're this close together, I actually like opening them. My rule of thumb for opening chests, and you'll have some other new players that will say like, always open your chest, it's always worth it because they can drop exultadors. It's like, yeah. But the monster that I left over there as well, that could drop a mirror. That doesn't mean that it's worth opening it and killing it. Um, you want to be efficient. So generally my rule of thumb for spam opening chest, is there a good divination card in the map? Then it's kind of worth opening it. Is it one of my first high tier maps? They like say, you know, you've, you're, you're kind of done farming like white maps and you want to push into yellows. And yeah, your first three maps probably is worth opening a bunch of chests and stuff. Um, whether it would be for high item level bases or just currency or actual map drops. But generally, I don't want to run around and open every single map in a chest. It's not worth your time because it is very time consuming. If you don't believe me, the best way is to set up like W split or something. Do an estuary with opening every map and do one, or sorry, opening every chest and do one without. You'll notice it does add like a minute or something. Uh, so like 30, 40% more time. That is actually a very big difference, even though it might not feel like it. Uh, and Path of Exile is Jump at some point all the way about efficiency. So, not super exile diary. Oh, I haven't heard of that, but that sounds great. Um, but uh, uh, if there's good divination cards in the map, then I will open up chests. Because they are actually pretty decent. They're just generally not worth your time. I got like 3x in chests already this league, and I only got like 60 hours this league. The thing is, like, it is so random dark. It, it is... I'm decidedly richer after after not doing it. it. It depends on your play style as well. And obviously, like, as long as you're having fun, then there's nothing wrong with it, right? That's the most That's important thing. But it is it is not generally worth it. Uh, it depends what kind of person you are clearing, right? If you're going, like, boom, 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 clear, it's going to slow you down a lot more than somebody that is already slowly clearing, right? If you're already slow, it won't be that much slower. But it can interrupt the for the 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 play of like speed clearing. But yeah, so here we now have Kyrex selling these, right? So there's like three three of each map, bunch of estuaries, bunch of haunted, one dungeon, uh, and we'll see. We have very few maps right now. We have very very few maps right now. We haven't picked up a bunch, uh, so we are going to have to to buy maps. Hey. Uh, and then we'll see how many oh, chance orbs do I have. That's Fifteen. So I can buy three stagnations. We're gonna buy three stagnations. Stay vigilant. And we're gonna sell those. We're gonna go straight to our laboratory. And now I have a tier two. I have a decent chance that I'll either drop another tier two and I'll, I'll transmute it. Also, I like having uh, mapping currency in my inventory that can like uh, speed you up a lot too. The problem is when you open a chest and find Excel when you're new, you'll now be convinced opening chest is good. Yeah, like there's always RNG as well. There. So now we're just hoping to drop an actual tier 3 map. Low on mine. Demolition specialist node for miner. Where is it? I'll search for it. Let's see, we need an eternal mana flask. We'll pick up another divine life flask. 
inventory is hidden behind the camera. I'll move myself over here. Put myself down a little bit. Demolition specialist. I don't know if I see it. Oh, this. Mine's a hinder. Oh, so hinder, they, that'll be... Um, it'll make them slower. And the aura effect, like it'll say what the mine does. What the aura does. Because auras or, or mines will reserve your mana now when you're casting them. That's the biggest difference between traps and mines. Is it a showcase of a leak start? Basically, yes. Yeah. So we've already uploaded the first part. I wanted to do like a super, super basic play with me, which is basically um, instead of like rushing through the maps and taking like three or four hours, I made a completely new character, simulated a new start, and I took eight hours. Um, and then I explained everything. That's still very fast. It's not intended that people like stay at the same speed, but I explain everything. Sockets, links, currencies and stuff while leveling um, and trying to do it as fast as possible. So we are just hoping for a tier 3 map here. Another tier 2. Yeah, this is the new PC. And we basically just want to get a tier 3 early. The reason for that is then we can start earning Zana missions. Because right now we can. Right now we cannot earn Zana missions. There. And right now we don't even have that much damage, obviously. Normally, um, especially in trade, you'd have a deer stalker by now, so you'd have a five link for your single, oh, sorry, for your clearing. And um, especially this league, it's very, very easy to get an actual Just six link. I'll, I'll try to make a video soon about all the easiest ways to get a 6 thing. Obviously the corruption mechanic, very, very good for that. Success on your mind, what the aura is. Knocks on, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I don't know if the Zana prophecy works in... I don't, I don't know if it'll proc when you don't have her. I do not know the answer. I haven't done it that early. There, we're gonna do the boss. Now this also phases, so that's annoying. We really don't like bosses that phase on this. Unless it's like it's very phasing, that is fine. We're using our cat eye thing. It's very annoying. It'd be easier if he slammed. There we go. So he stays here for longer. Did not get a map. There's more than 50 monsters remaining. Um, where did I not clear? Maybe up here? Very annoying map. This is a good way to get an early tier 3. Alright, that'll do. That'll do. We have a new mana flask. We are tempted to roll for an enduring, but we have so few alts. But we can oh actually we have 30. I didn't I didn't think we had that many. Uh seething. Stressor, eternal. We can augment anything that's a suffix. Because the uh thing we're looking for is a prefix. Uh like that, and that's shock community. This is the same one at R, so this is just better. Uh and we're gonna identify everything. Let's see. So these have life, resist, high movement speed, higher than ours. Ours have cold, this have lightning. They're not good enough that we can wear them, but they're kind of worth keeping. So they are like really, really good. Warm nights. There, um, so okay. we have an additional three estuaries we can buy. So we're going to buy those, selling those Stop to the vendor. Life. And now we're trying to do a dry sea. Again, we're just really, really trying to get a, um... We're just trying to get a, um... Tier 3 here. Really good thing about this character, um... Is we're immune to all sorts of reflect. You can't reflect through traps. Hey, Shredder. And now we also no longer have any mana issues, I think. 
No. See that? It's good. It is worth picking up all quality gems and rendering them for these beasts. I have so many on. Look at that! Trader underscore 899 JDX 100. Thank you for that, share Shredder. Uh, this is going to be a uh, poison, uh, poison saboteur, poison seismic trap. Ow! That's Storm Herald, though. Very scary. But yeah, all we want, tier 3 map, and then we have Zana. Um, I'm being very careful not to engage with the lane mechanic now because I do not have 100% spell suppression and it is uh, absolutely death. Absolutely death without 100% spell suppression. We got another tier 2 map. Scourge is really bad unless you have 100% spell suppression. We only have 67 when we're full life, 57 when we're not. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be trying both. I know Lily's trying crit at the moment. Uh, I think Sai is trying both. Darky's trying both. Or maybe Darky's only going crit. Um, the downside to, uh, uh, downside to poison, it might have more damage, but you're ramping. It's ramping damage. Uh, and you're already kind of ramping as traps. So, uh, that's why some people don't like that. And this relies on Coded Shrapnel, which very easy in trade league, not so easy in SSF. I have five in SSF, but most oh, people fine. don't. You see a very, very good ramping damage, especially on... Well, he said stand still. Thanks for moving. Oh! Just need a moment to um, But yeah, it's just some pros and cons. Or old quality ho, yeah. When you trigger your first Maven encounter, that's an excellent question. So the first Maven encounter is encountered after, in, I think it's your first tier 3 or tier 4 map, maybe 5, but I don't think it's 5, after you've done one Conqueror. So you need to have done Baran, and then you'll get your Maven device. Necro should be way better for Detonate Dead. It's just slightly less damage, I think, but way more survival. Still no map. Still no map. Uh, I'm getting randomly one shot a lot. I'm a Pathfinder with 5.1k life, 800 ES, 30k evasion, cap resist, and 100 spells pressure. Not sure what to do. Any advice? Depends a little bit what kind of maps you are. I would say with those defenses, you're probably in tier 5 maps. Right? What what map map class? I, I would assume you're in tier five maps for those resistances. Well, you got a tier two map. Yep. Those gloves are kind of nice, but not good enough. Hey, Loki. This builder TR. Oh, both of them struggle with the same problem. It moves a lot. Sorry if you already explained this, but can you talk a little bit about your pathing between monsters and maps? I find myself backtracking a lot. Ooh, I can talk about that, sure. I can talk about that. Why not? I hadn't thought about it. Well, I'll talk a little bit about my decision process of where to go. So, I obviously, I've played so much that I have a fair idea of the entire layout of the map. So I sort of try to pre- oh no. I don't really want to be in a dreaded one. Does this one shot me? Yeah, stay back there. Is this one shot me? I'm minus six. Oh, minus 39. I shouldn't get one shot. Oh, it does hurt a lot, though. So, here I would usually do... I'm gonna flashbang. Oh, wait. I, I don't have that scene open. 
Well, I'm basically going to go, like, around here, and then usually I'll either make, like, a circle and then clear the end, or I'll go like this, like a sort of worm. But I do try to, like, pre-clear. I do try to, like, clear in a way that I don't backtrack. It does, it does change each map, though. Physical... Caster... Um, we're gonna go for physical. Because we can get plus physical gem level. Do I have a dagger? So now I'm gonna go back out actually. Well, I can check here. Let's see if there's a dagger here. I don't really care much which one. Does it say what I'm using? Is this, um, I can't remember. There's a difference on runic daggers and stuff now, right? Has an APC? So good so far. There's like runic daggers or something now, right? Does it say runic dagger on them? This one's an actual attack dagger, isn't it? Uh, I kind of want to go and get an actual Runic Tiger. I used your code to order a new PC for Matesian. Hope you get some kind of cake back. That's awesome. I I do, yeah. I do. Let me know. And, uh, did you get the, uh, like, a special, like, Dauntlet logo or something as well? Let's say Runic. Second. Um, that's corrupted, though. Doesn't help me. To the death. Here's a Rune Dagger. We'll just get that. We'll just get those and keep those here. Human dagger and fiend dagger. I actually don't have enough in to use that. That's annoying. Alright, let's see. Wait, whoops, wrong one. There. Right, so we're going to reforge physical. We are basically only looking for plus gem level with chance to poison. Plus gem level with chance to poison is what we're looking for. I don't really care about the, um, unless there's a random nice chest on the ground. I mean, we could do this, I guess, and hope it's six sockets. Feels kind of whatever. Not very important. Um... There. We're having more spell suppression. Defense or chaos. Caster is nice, and so is the fossil thing. Really, really good being able to pre trap to deal with stuff like this. Very, very nice for that. We're going to keep this for later. So, this slot, what this does is it stores it. And if you want to access that, you can access it in your hideout, um, which you have to uh, click Edit Decoration and add the Horty Torty Crafting Station, this one, to your hideout. And then now I can change the stack of essences. I usually use that on the special ones, like Delirium, uh, Hysteria, Horror, or Insanity, to make those go to another special essence. Um, now we have Reforged Caster. We're going to use that on the dagger as well. Again, we're mostly hoping for... Uh, here we have chance to poison, but we didn't really get anything else I care about. It's mostly gem level we care about. Now, I do have this. Um, we're just going to reforge this. It's just not a good enough amulet at the moment. So we are just... Uh, there, basically, all I'm looking for is either life and resist. And then I'm just going to quickly overwrite that when we don't get that. I think your head is much larger than it used to be. Yeah, I think you might be right. I can make myself smaller. Okay, um, now we're going to continue. Let's see. Um, there we have unique items. We're gonna take that. Unique need items, like, this is really good. It seems like really good waiting. There, uh, random weapon or quiver or random armor. Let's see, I don't know if I actually have a unique. I don't, because that's item level one, and we don't want to do that. 
So I'm actually going to save these for later. Uh, divination cards. We have some random chaos ones. We'll just use these. The gem cutter. Reroll value. So this is a divine, basically. But it only divines the prefixes. And it's lucky. That means it's going to roll it twice and take the higher outcome. Higher outcome of all the average. Normally, in the axe, I have a 300 HP per axe for the them. There, so now we're going around the outer stuff. We're gonna go do the ritual. Right now we're only in a tier 1 map, so we can't actually drop a tier 3 here. We drop a lot of tier 1, so... Putting down some seismic over there where the monsters are spawning. Oh, that spawned on top of me. We'll move over here where there's no purple ball. Now it's here. Trying to avoid the purple ball of death. Alright. Not much use in looking at things. And wow. <laughs> Until the last one. Holy shit. That is a great helmet. And will let us uh, explain right, how I fractured items work. Just subscribe. Thank you, thank you, Pi Gaming. Thanks so much. When do you swap from early to medium filters? Um, like yellow maps. Honestly, I kind of always prefer showing too much than too little. Right now, my current filters are a bit too straight. When to tackle Delvin High? Uh, yeah. Although for a new player, that's sort of just like, learn one mechanic at a time. Um, I usually do delve when my delve juice is filled up. Heist, in this league, I've been spamming it to be honest with you. I've been absolutely spamming heist because it's... We just have so little currency this league. We are destitute and poor. So in this league, I've just been spamming heist a lot in the early game. Trying to get chaos and stuff like that. There. So now we can get everything here. That is a 5 link or 2 5 links. We're not interested in that. We're very interested in this helmet. We're definitely going to buy that. Um, and then maybe the fusings. We are actually going to do something interesting now. We only have 2,000 left. However, we are going to reroll right now. Actually, rerolling is one of the best features. Now, if there's nothing interesting on this page, we are not going to do the last ritual. We do have one more we can do. And then if there is something good here, then we would do it. There is two chaos orbs here and some alchemy. So since we're so poor, we are going to do it. But if this had only trash that I wasn't interested in, we, just, we would uh, just skip the last one to uh, save time. Saving time is really, really good. Now we're gonna go do the boss. And you'll see by the way we've been clearing, we've mostly not really done uh, any like major backtracking. What do you think is more tedious to do? Blight or ritual? Blight. I definitely feel like Blight is more tedious. I also thought the last ritual would be here, the boss. I actually haven't paid attention to where it is then. Please die, Barthol. Face breakers. Everybody feel free to guess what they are. Oh, it's down here then. There. But yeah, generally whenever I clear them up, I just try to get to a point where I'm like avoiding a large amount of backtracking. Never want to backtrack a lot. Just need a moment. Trying to avoid the big chaos projectiles. They are actually pretty scary. You see, now we're getting quite a large amount, which I didn't need unless there was something good in the second one. Oh. 
There, what will I buy? I can't afford both. We're probably gonna grab the alchemist right now because I just want to alk a bunch. I just want to alk a bunch. I'll grab ritual splinters too. It's more long-term planning. Um, we'll kill this area here and then you'll see that we have basically full cleared the entire map. And there's like not been really any backtracking. And once you, like this is more about layout knowledge and you'll just start getting used to it. But uh, it's, it's good to have it to pick up. 661. Um, let's see. I don't know if this works here. It does. My nice clear. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, we'll keep it just to swap it to a future one. There, we're going to vendor. Bags for the wisdoms. And sell that. Now, this helmet is very, very good. All the other stuff is just trash that we're going to vendor. However... What's so special about this helmet is that it has fractured life on it. Now, how does this work? If I scour this item now, it's actually going to stay blue. You cannot get rid of the maximum life no matter what you do. Um, so if I if I um, scour this, like this is a huge find early on. And now what we would really be looking for would be resist ones. Uh, so we can use this. Because this is uh, a fractured item, we can never make this white. So we can never use a whaling essence or lower. We would need to use Screaming or Above, because they can be used as Chaos. Now, we can actually use this. This is a very low chance of this getting anything good. Um, but this would give us a mana restoration on the helmet. So if this had hit Resist, for example, it would be really good. We can now also use Chaos Orbs. This is honestly not a bad target for it. Because uh, we just need to hit one Resist. That's more of a solo cell phone thing. In Trade League, you could just buy a better helmet. Uh, but what we're looking for now is just a Screaming Resist Essence. That's like the main thing we're looking for and what we really want. Let's see, where did I put my Augments? Uh, let's see, we only have Tier 2. So we can run Glenite Cairns and it's, uh, or Water Waste here, and it's uh, Elk. So we have a decent chance of Tier 3 here. The build I'm playing right now is really good for us and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. So fractured items are very, very strong. You can make your own fractured items through through harvest, but it's very rare. And it's like it's either a one in three or a one in five chance. So it's it's very rare. Uh you don't use masters for missions at all in this guide. I usually don't use master missions super early in hardcore, because like, a lot of them can be kind of rippy. I don't have a use for delve right now. Um I don't want to do incursion this early. Um, bestiary is the, like, most worth to use early on. Bestiary is the most worth. There, we got a humility card. Um, so there's a couple of tricks you can do, uh, for the Atlas. Like, for example, I could have avoided doing other tier 2s than waterways. And I could have had waterways as my only tier 2. Then, whenever I'm doing tier 3s and 4s, etc., it would generally only be dropping... Ooh! would only be dropping me waterway. So a lot of people did this at the start of the league for um, uh, getting the 6 thing bow card very, very easily. That's what I did at the start of the league. But sadly, there's no retroactive way of fixing that. Like once you've already played, you basically bricked your account for target farming maps like this and you have to farm the favored map system instead. It's something I've been like pretty critical of because TGD removed the our ability to remove maps from the Atlas. They said there's no longer a reason to. Which is not true. There is there is definitely a reason to. You can target farm one map very early. Is there a way to reroll the implicit on a fractured item? Nope. Those cannot be changed at all. If you want to find a high one. It's not an implicit either. It is an explicit. It is not an implicit. The vines are nothing work on that. Nothing worth on that. Not even with Krangling. Nothing. If it's fractured, nothing can change it. At all. Synthesized items are different as well. Synthesized is an implicit. That's different. And they can be, um, changed. Or evolved over. Oh, kind of scary. The vines cannot do anything to it. At all. Not even a double corruption that goes poof. Yes, if you open up the item and do slash destroy, that fixes it too. 
Do you do build reviews? Nope. I do not. And and that Ezio guy is, is trying to say divines work? They do not. Divines do not work for what you're asking. They do not move up a tier. They do not change the number. They do not, like, do anything. They literally do not interact with it. That guy is giving you wrong information. Divines do literally nothing to fractured items. If you corrupt a fractured item, it'll keep the explicit. Yep. Unless it breaks. Unless it destroys the item, but then it would keep the explicit still. Rhythm, thank you for the sub. Man, I'm getting very unlucky on tier 3 maps. It's a different question. Alright. All good. Thought it was the one that guy was asking. We have a tier 3 map. So, once we kill the port boss, we will have Zana. Oh, that's good. Um, there. There, we can do that. That's fine. We're gonna identify all the items. I'll keep this unique as well. It's nice to keep some uniques for, um, harvest. Like, the, the reforge unique thing. Be careful. There. Alright, let's do this map. Oh, we can do, uh, bestiary. There's no tainted divine orb. There is a, uh, super divine thing. How far into maps are you going in this video? Um, probably my first conqueror and then I'm gonna swap back. Right, honestly, there's no good point to end it. Like, I could do this forever and I know it would help people, but I really want to, like, play with my, uh, end game gear. People could also watch my League Start video, right? About my champion and they'll see a lot of the stuff. And also, it is sort of less beneficial in a way because um, I'm not on trade league. A lot of there would be a lot of different advice on playing trade league. I don't really have any interest in making a trade league character. I know it would be good for teaching, but I gotta enjoy the game too. Maybe ready deer skin and th yeah, I think so. Can't see a reason not to. There. I'm cutter. Pretty great clear already on a four link and a low, uh, low, uh, thing. There. So, Exanguinate is level 16. If you are watching this and following along, please, please have a level 20 or 21 gem by now. Depends on the price of the 21 gem, but it is a huge, huge upgrade. You should absolutely have a level 20 gem. It should be less than 5c. Even if it's 10c, it's an insane upgrade. For Exsanguinate and Seismic Trap. The other gems don't matter. Very whatever. Is this Shaft? It is. You need stuff. We don't take quality damage with GSP? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been recommending that. But I have like 160 GCP. Thanks, Skin versus Fire Stack for this build? Thank you, Skin, probably. I mean, I'd probably rather have a rare chest, like in the guide, but until then, I do have a. I have a Tinker Skin, however. <laughs> however, I do have a Tinker Skin, but. My, um. My, um. What do you call it? I crangled it and it has a 40% chance to hinder me when I take damage or something. So I need to get a hinder immunity jewel before I can use it. It's bricked at the moment. I have a really good rare chest I can use. I'd probably rather have Tinkery than that, but... We will see. I have a bricked Tinkery skin, but it is plus one max res too, so it's not like it's terrible. Imagine if we got another plus nexus. I really wish they'd made, um... Crangling better by now. Uh, I have a video on what Atlas Passers recommend. Those are the ones I run myself. 
This is a poison saboteur. Using seismic craft and exsanguinate. It's very, very insane damage later. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Especially once you start getting cold iron points and gem levels. And you know, not a four link. Well, he's more than enough for now, but. Bye, please. There, and now Zana appears. Boom. And this is very important. Now we can get Zana missions. Um, and every time you do a Zana mission, she resets her store. No, no. Cold Iron Point, it affects all your... It's not socket in gems. It's all your gems. Do you think you need a certain level of intellect to make your own builds? <sighs> yes. Only the most advanced scholars are capable of making sip a path of exile build. Only the most intelligent of those among us. Um, no, it's just like, like anything else. Practice, practice, and, and at some point the skill tree just clicks for you. It becomes like a heat map. You know which nodes are garbage. Um, so, no. I don't. There, we're on 75 spell suppression. I really hate this node. It really janks with me. Sack, just have to write, write a message. <sighs> Streamer broke? Yep. Are you sure you have 100 spell suppression? Make sure, like, one thing that's easy to fuck up at the moment, Gendor, is a lot of people think they have 100% spell suppression, but they have 90. Because this is 10% chance to spell suppress while in full life, but this doesn't help you. So if you're 90% spell suppression, very rough. Would you say most good builds are solved? No. Very often, very often there are people that have secret builds and stuff. The, the most obvious ones are solved instantly. Like most good build creators will very quickly, as soon as we see the patch notes, know like most of the really, really good ones. And then some people in the community get really, really weirdly obsessed. Like, oh, this person made it first. They own that build. It's like, bruh. Like, anyone anyone with any salt knew that. about that build as soon as we saw the patch notes, right? Like, I've, I've never accused anyone of, like, stealing builds. It's so weird. So weird. Very strange. Uh, there. Just need a moment to add to my Uh, no, I don't like that Metrodox. Yeah, it's the initial shot. But yeah, there there are like secret builds. Like sometimes there will be like a really really weird thing that uh, people haven't thought of. Something that's also very very good is sometimes some things will have been nerfed and a lot of people will avoid doing it. Um, like that, that happened to me very, very often. Like very often I would specifically look at things that have been nerfed and I'm like, wait, this is still really strong. Cause it went from being the strongest build to the third strongest build. And people think it's shit. Like that happened very, very often. Like for example, this was a bit, bit of a meme in the uh, community a long time ago when I only played Valspark. Um, and um, also we spawned Baran, which uh, means that there will be like lightning monsters. And uh, see if I can find it. Yes. 
Is it here? Right, I think it's here. See if I can show you. Right, so um, I was known for playing Valspar in every single league. And uh, they kept nerfing it. And the price would drop, by the way. Like, the build would go from being 30x. And then it got nerfed. And it got, went for, like, 10c. So I built... I bought, like, enough to make myself three or four of the builds. Just because I died, right? It was a lot... Even more common to die back then. I didn't even do it to make money. Uh, and then I would make the build again. And people saw me playing it. And, and the build would skyrocket in price again. Like, just boom. Um, and then they did this patch. Valspark has been nerfed in almost every single way possible. Its critical strike has been reduced from 6 to 5. Base duration. And then when this happened, there were loads of like Zizarin memes. And everyone was like, Zizarin, thanks for, thanks for killing Valspark. And I, I, I did it again. I started playing it again. It was even cheaper. Um, and, uh, and then after that, they actually killed it. They absolutely fully destroyed it the next patch. Um... But very often, uh, builds that have been nerfed are still, like, incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. This way, exile. Right, let's see. We'll go for the caster and fizz. Low on mine. Why not doing the mechanic? I don't have 100% spell suppression. Maybe a tiger thing for eight months. There, uh, we're gonna. This is really, really good to get early on because um, augmentations are easy to get, but regals very, very hard to get. These like currency exchanges are really, really good. We're gonna keep doing this, hoping for plus gem levels. Uh, we didn't get any, and we would also need chance to poison. Uh, so that's all we're looking for, really. Suckling, Chaos, we'll go for this one. The Unique's again very, very good to go for, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, Spell Block is fine. Spell Suppression you kind of want like a hundred of. Um, some advice about mapping. I've done the leapfrog for mapping. I'm on my last region. It requires four watchstones, but I'm only dropping maps onto tier 13. So, hopefully you know this, but, like, to drop tier 14s, 15s, and 16s, like, ideally you want to be doing 16s. Like, you can't drop a tier 16 map from a 12, for example. Like, 16s can only drop in 15s. Um, they can drop from a boss from a 14, as long as they are, uh, droppable. The most important thing as well is if you can't search for it, like, for example, when I search for 5 right now, uh, no map um, highlights. So that means that I currently cannot drop a tier 5 map. If you can't search for it, you can't drop it. Into unique of that type. We're going to keep this. We really want this for belts. Uh, but I don't have any unique belts right now. Um, we'll just use this to... See now... Oh my god, dude. This is literally what we want, but with Fizz. This is literally what we want, but with Fizz. Uh, this does have Chaos Damage Over Time Multiplier and a Prefix, so this is actually an upgrade for us. So we are going to keep this, because we are obviously uh, doing Chaos Damage because we are uh, poisoning. So it is actually an upgrade. But if we had that exact thing, but with Fizz, it would be perfect. Uh, we're going to go for this one. Seven Fizz. Crusader amulet. Now, like we showed with the recipe earlier, I can turn this into a Crusader Onyx amulet with a red, green, and a blue gem. Um, let's see. Are there any rune daggers? If not, I need to go buy a new one. You are a rune dagger, and I think you are wearable. You are. Big Brother Myth Andrew, thank you for four months. Big Brother Myth Thrandia just subscribed. Thank you very much for everything you learned me. You are very welcome. I'm glad it helps. I'm glad it helps. Whoops, we'll keep that with us. We do need more. 
Uh, let's see. Yep, only for poison chance. We don't get rare lens decks. Will this be on YouTube? Yeah, I do upload these to YouTube. This is like a more basic one. Obviously, it's more advanced now that we're in math, but I tried to, especially the first five hours of the other one, be very, very basic. And hopefully it'll help uh, very new people. How do you get 30 quality on a weapon? Um, and yes, that is worth it, Toss. Um, it's from Hillock on Transportation in Betrayal. Um, it is probably like flame dash or shield, shield charge or something. Cause you do have global poison chance. So that is probably it. Wow, you are tanky. Vulnerable to chaos, still so tanky. Weird. Oh, good dude. DOE is just a very, very complicated game. Like it's just I'm trying to flame dash through here now. I do have a chance to poison. A global chance. Maybe not high enough. Yeah. I'm very scared of Abyss. They can be very deadly very fast. In a bad spot. There. Searching Eye. That would have been very good to find before they removed Onslaught. I thought it would have worked for a Trapper anyway, but... Nice to have early league for other characters. And yeah, buying like Deer Stalkers can be really, really good if you are trade league. Then you have a five link for your uh, player. Hey, this is Love Your Content. I was wondering why aren't GDD promoting scamming in GDD? It's obviously profitable as long as you're allowed to do it, and GDD aren't going to fix trade if no one's talking about it. I know you made your video about how to avoid getting scammed. Don't you think it would be good in the long run? Uh, I guess scammed out of ADEX. Oh, like promoted to, um, to make them do something about it. I have honestly, unironically thought about that. Unironically, I thought about exactly what you're saying. Um, but they do actually take action if there's enough reports. So they do very rarely ban scammers. Um, but it happens so rarely that it, yeah, basically doesn't ever stop the problem. So if I was doing it on stream, they probably would take action. But yes, I agree. It's very frustrating. Hi, Steel. How are you doing, dude? That's the thing. Well, no, not always. You don't always just scam yourself. Like, you do have to trust people when trading and stuff, which is frustrating. It honestly is in a bad state in PoE. Very, very bad thing. There, nothing we have found is good. Again, we're only looking out for like high life and resists. Imagine pro doing scamming and ruining the trade economy and turning the game into pseudo SSF. So what the guy was saying was he he asked, have I thought about promoting it so much to force GDD to deal with the problem? I, I it's not like he wants more scamming. He's Thing is a cynical way of dealing with and and I do get it. I do get it. We demand MTX. Oh yeah, we've killed Katava. I can put on MTX now. I can put on MTX now. But it's not a problem. Well, I mean it it is a problem though. It is a problem when, when doing expensive items for harvest crafting and stuff, like we just don't have a safety framework really. There are like, I agree that a lot of the scamming is just people being stupid, but it's also, it wouldn't take much for them to like make it better. For example, faded uniques uh, looking differently or having a glow. Um, five and six links having a glow, like an orange glow for a five link and a white glow for a Six thing, right? That wouldn't be hard for them to do, and it would make it considerably better. Harvest shouldn't be tradable at all. Just too many angry Reddit posts if you do that. 
Oh wait, didn't I? I got a I got a new weapon that I forgot to use. This happens to me a lot. Well, we'll soon just give us an action now. Already got a good watcher's eye steal. There. I'm curious about how you'd go about making harvest non tradable It's easy. Um, make any item it's used on. Um, soul bond. People really like soul bond in, in games. I think every every gamer just like, please give us more soul bound items. Everybody really loves it. It's a great mechanic. I actually personally uh, like find on trade. Can believe it? I bet. You can take the build all the way or just some practice content. Uh, I actually I'm gonna take the build all the way. I just um, so what I did was I did a very very basic play with me. So instead of having Jesus, that was loud. Instead of having some gear and stuff, I I did literally a SSF simulated start on a new league, and then I was gonna get to maps and then transfer it. But then I figured I would at least do my first conqueror. Um, so that I can just show people the start of maps and how I deal with early problems and stuff. But I do want to like put on- I have so much gear for this character so I do want to put that on. And then people that want to see more can also go look at my league start which is highlighted on Twitch. Is that a joke? Yes. That is a joke. That was a joke. If you're talking about the soulbound stuff then yes that was a joke. Um... That would be a solution, it's just not necessarily a good one. Um, I do like bind on trading though, that's not a joke. To combat flipping. Yes, new PC is up. What do you mean transfer your character? So right now I'm in a private league just to simulate um, a fresh league start. And I'm going to transfer back to normal soul self on her core. Let's see, we have one more. Do we have 17 gems soon? Yeah, like one more map. I have not done Merc Club. I completely forgot. Let's go do that. I was wondering. I felt like something was missing. Um, there, we are going to take another 10% spell suppression. We'll get rid of that later. Now we're at 85. Basically, we need an item. We need some resists as well. Uh, we're going to go here to the epilogue. There. Here, Steel Mage, I found a meme for you. Aren't you allergic to cats? <laughs> yeah, we saw it. Can you explain the last mastery you took? It's, uh, as long as my boots, helmet, and gloves have evasion, then I get 10% spell suppression. But if I had an armor helmet, then I wouldn't get it. Accurate. Oh, we just found a fiveling that I can actually use. That's awesome. That's awesome. We'll use that for my seismic, I think. For more single target. Oh, but then I have to switch around a lot. It's like that visiting my uncle because he had cats. Ah. Uh, damn. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Have you considered not being allergic? Like just stopping. Random five link? Yeah, that's nice. That'll help us a bit on our single target. It's already pretty high, but even better. 16 gems will be good too. Just need a moment to catch my I mean, I might go to the doctor and see if there's some five head tech. Oh, yeah, I have no idea about stuff like that. I have no idea. Recipe, chaos damage, sanguinates level 17. I think there is. Well, there's like antihistamines or something, or maybe that's something else. Cat vaccine. It only lasts a few weeks, right? 
there, we can now complete the labyrinth. What skills that build? What should we learn here for stats? So trap damage, chaos damage over time multiplier. Um, what else? Uh, physical spell skill gems level. So cold iron point. Like that's what we want the most is gem level. Gem level is huge. Poison damage. Let's see. We're gonna switch to this now. Um, it's not the best, but it does have the. Uh, oh wait 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 wait. It's twenty percent chance to poison. That's annoying. I don't want to lose poison chance. We're not doing that. Right, okay. Um, Kirooms? What do I need? What's my last gem? Do I have Path of Building open? Seismic. Uh, Void Manipulation. So... Uh, just one blue then. Four green, one blue, please. And we have to hopefully get a decent chest. Uh, I have no ascensus. Oh, do I have enough ults? Honestly, I mostly just want life. Well, do I? I have chaos. Now, by the way, sometimes it can be tempting to use uh, binding orbs, but... No, I don't use life type yet. Uh, but binding orb would actually ruin the five link or a six link. Most people know that, but sometimes there will be individuals that will help you out and they will they will ruin it. Damn, good resists. Honestly, I might take that. Is it fire and lightning? I'm, I, I'm just going to take that for now temporarily. Drop a little life. Poor steel mage. Yeah, some people don't know about that, can confirm. Poor steel mage. Somebody ruined his six link. It was hard to watch. That physically hurt. There, uh, we're still res capped. We have 4k life, basically. We'll bank these. Um, and then I need a void manipulation. Where is void manip- Is this act one or act two? Don't be like steel mage. Well, steel didn't do it. It was uh, somebody doing it. It was forced. Yes. It is here. All right. 14. All right, well, let's do Merclap. Now, for Pantheons, uh, this one, Soul of Ralakesh, will make you take less damage from the traps, the, the, the uh, Roombas. Now, as normal, remember to open PUE Lab and uh, check like what the layout is. So we're going to open Merclap on another monitor here. Sword and Shield today. So Tell mad, thanks for the raid. 706 viewers. Thank you, thank you so mad. How are you doing, dude? Good to see you. We are about to ascend. I'm feeling ascendy. I'm also very low level right now. Normally, I'm, I'm going to do my first conquer now. I'm normally like 75 to 80 when I do my first conquer. This character shouldn't have many problems with it. Hope you are having a big stream. I'm doing so weird, dude. I'm using my new PC. Uh, uncapped, my FPS was nearly 500 FPS in hideout. I'm, I'm pretty great. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty great. There. Right, did I? Yes. What spikes are you running now? I think it's a Smash Mike PC one. I have two PCs. The second one is not set up currently because uh, something happened like there's no capture card in it. So I was supposed to use the second one as a um, stream PC. There it is. I have all the cores. It's nice. What ended up being the resolution? Had to remove the backplate. Had to remove the backplate. So, in lab, obviously, like, ideally just dodging everything is good, but the worst thing you can do is run backwards through traps. You always want to just push forward. Running backwards will always get you killed. Oh, come on, chat. Don't troll you at least all over. I've had 20 FPS in PoE. Lots of patches on old PC, so I don't... Not everybody can afford a modern PC, man. Especially, like, it's so expensive today. 
Let's see. So we're actually gonna kill these. We're actually gonna kill these. Especially, uh, I honestly only care about killing the elemental weakness one. Well, actually, they're all bad. They're all bad, but, um, I don't really fuck around with curses. They just make you very weak. I don't fuck around with curses. Alright, it's super dead. There. Oh. And now you're dead. Was that because of the pins that were bent? No, it was not because of the pins that were bent. It's um, it was just so hard to like make the the, the graphic thing uh, or the, the thing that keeps the graphic card there. It was so hard to make that like clip. So hard to make it clip. We're gonna go get a dank shrine, which is down here as well. Uh, it will tell you on Pee Lab what zones have them, but I also like just recognize the layouts for which ones have them. Yeah, 1080 was on one of my old PCs. There. See, like, just running through can, like, very, very help you a lot. So, you can do anything with this build. You can do, you can do no regen even, um, and shit like that. No regen's not the best, but you can do it. Um, honestly, the only thing I would, uh, reroll on this build is, um, scary mods. That, that I would reroll on any build. And by scary mods, I mean things like critical, minus max resistances, uh, multi proj. Multi proj is the worst thing in existence. There's nothing worse or scarier than that. That is such a large source of deaths. Um, so multi proj, min max, crit, and then like just loads of damage mods, right? Like if you have triple damage, quad damage. Yeah, here you can see what's bottlenecking you. This is charge disruptors, that means we're just gonna kill him quickly. So I will put them up here and he will jump on them basically. Or destroy them, that works too. Usually he jumps. You view Multiproj as a free mod? No build views Multiproj as a free mod. It is the single most dangerous mod in the game. There's literally nothing more dangerous, even on high evasion builds. The number one source of death is multi proj probably. There's so many things, like so many monster types that just become absolutely insane. Single scary, it's the single highest damage one. Yep, monsters do two additional projectiles. So the reason why it's so dangerous, um, the reason why it's so dangerous, there's so many monster types that get AOE overlap. So cannibals basically triple their damage, whereas obviously some other monster mods reduce be like 20% increased damage, 60 <laughs> or 80, 90 elemental is extra, but multiplayer would literally three times multiply their damage. Salad, thank you for the sub. Um, minus spell suppressed damage. That's not as bad. It's bad, but not as bad. It's just the amount. It's not your chance. Um, shit. I need a mana flask. It's the, by far, the most dangerous sword. Celeb, thank you for the sub. I'll only run white quality maps now. That's why you put it in the gold knight? Yep. That's why we saw such a big difference on deaths between AoE, which did like nothing, and people were very safe, versus multi proj where like people die left, right, and center. It's it's what makes the gauntlet scary. Yep, this is a new PC. Sir. Yeah, donor with multi -proj. And it's just so scary. So many bosses, so many monsters become very unreasonable. Tell them, thank you for the gift sub. There, we are ascended. Then we check in the guide. What is. Subscription. Celeb82 gifted a tier 1 sub to heart underscore damage. Thank you, thank you. 
Um, and now we're gonna take um, Perfect Prime. And then we're gonna check for the enchant. Oh, nice, and somebody. That's awesome. It's really good. So, says you say drop a mage blood. What's the build you absolutely wanted to do? I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. I'll probably do it for champion toxic rain. Um, we'll take the uh, movement speed enchant. I don't care about siphoning trap. We're hoping to change it up for the gauntlet this time, and I'm hoping they'll let us do mods that people can't practice for. To make everybody suffer. Uh, the theme we're going for for the gauntlet as well is going to be... Oh, that is a really, really good shield. Don't have enough int. Um, we really want to... Yes. The theme we're going for is making oh, wow. the start easier and trying to get a really, really good turnout of participants. And um, making the bosses harder. It should be quite a different gauntlet, I think. Mm. We also realized Gauntlet gets more players in the 10 days that it's up than all of Hardcore Soul Safan and Hardcore Trade League. That's kind of insane. Find out insane, mate. There, now we have Baran spawn. I'm kind of scared of standing in the lightning. Because all the soft brandies like me play gauntlet? That's correct. That is correct. Right now, like, if you go look on PoE Ninja, even between as low as level 79 to 100, there's like 5,000 characters this, at this point in the league. It's insane. And we've had, I think the most we've had in one gauntlet was 45,000 players. I think I'm on get high level. Okay, where are you going, Dodri? Wish I could free trap. Starting on purple. Our first tier forma. Why are you not using Scourge? Because I don't have 100% spell suppression. Too scary. I'm hardcore. Woo! Very much density in here. We're gonna avoid Legion right now. I'm feeling a little squish on my character. That means you don't always want to engage with the league mechanic early. So right now I only have 4k HP. It's very, very low. Even for tier 1 math. I usually have like 5 or so at this point. But now we get Moran. Ideally, you're getting a gauntlet every league. Does that indicate a problem with hardcore, in your opinion? Um, no, I just think it's a trend in gaming. People don't want to use time that way. A lot of people don't like starting over. I think it's a problem. It's, it's just, just a change in, in players more than anything. People don't like the same type of content. Because, like, hardcore is just getting easier and easier. Maybe the game has gotten too easy. Um, and, and that's why, because when the game was harder, we used to have a larger hardcore player base. But now the game is getting easier and easier, and we're seeing more and more people playing softcore. Right. Let's do Baran. No, no idea, Chomain. I think the player base has more or less gotten older. I think it's getting younger. How does that even make sense? Um, because a lot of the people that play hardcore played because of the difficulty.
like the three friends I, I played with, like Silva and stuff, they don't play PoE anymore because it's too easy now. That's the, generally what draws people to hardcore. Whereas now it's getting easier and easier. And then that's also why the game is getting popular in a way, because it's it's marketing to like a, a slightly more easygoing audience, right? Because the game is easier now. It's not as grindy, it's not as complex, it's not as tedious. Oh yeah, I thought if you're talking about veterans, yeah. And it's the same thing for me, right? Like I, I prefer whenever the game is in like a difficult state when everything is really hard. So like that that's what made like three of my long term friends quit. But it's different for everybody, right? Also there'll also be burnout, like when you play the game that long. Sure. Sure. There's there's new aspirational content now. That's what I'm really excited about the Simulacrum 30 and stuff. That's why I was so excited about staying on Hardcore this day, even though a lot of people left. Cause like there I'm like, wow, this is what I live for. Because other people are like, oh you know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do the content on Hardcore. So I wanna go suffer to be able to experience it. Whereas I'm like, oh this is fucking awesome. I might not be able to do this. Whereas in my opinion, it would be it would be great if I can't do it this league. That would be awesome. Like, I hope I am not able to do it. I hope I die. Because then it's such a, like, good long-term goal, right? That's, like, the main reason to play hardcore for me. This remembers when Act 4 Malachi was so scary. Everyone overleveled for it. Yep. And I, I really enjoy that. But again, right? It's everyone. Everyone enjoys different things. I hate the new uber super extreme mega wells being beaten in days. Yeah. Like even when Shaper was introduced to the game it took like a week and a half for Shaper to be killed. And Just Shaper's not exactly hard, right? My breath. Brand doesn't equal difficulty. Most people simply don't have the time in GGG starting to... Yeah, but I still strongly disagree with that statement because now it's getting to the point where people are finishing the game in less than a month and then quitting for two months. Instead of playing the entire three months. There, he's dead. We're gonna go refresh our potions before Baran. It was never hard, just excessively grindy. I strongly disagree with that. Invasion beyond bloodlines? That's hard. Very hard. It's not, not, not grindy. It's just hard. Would you reckon builds being stronger have to do with it? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Builds used to be a lot weaker. I love to see. Right. But yeah, it's just like diff people like different things in games. That's all. What do I do next? What does I have next to this tree? Do we have any poison nodes? I'm just looking at path of building. I know you guys can't see the screen, but I think I have everything here. How many points is this? Required level 83, so I'm missing something. Oh, I'm missing these. I so much over time multi. So we are going to pre-trap here. Shadow can never overtake light, demon. Cat's eyes. You see, like, stuff like this, the build is really good at. This is what the build is great at. So, normally I would overlevel more for this as well on hardcore. I would very often have, like, uh, maybe a 6 link and a level 18 or 19 seismic trap. I was spamming my withering step every time I was off cooldown. Um, and uh, you saw how easy it died. And then, yeah, this is generally how I would treat like the early start of maps. Then next, I would... It depends a little bit what kind of build I am. Sometimes I would be very careful with what maps I do to not do anything with a good or bad layout early on uh, until I start getting closer to favorite maps. Um... Honestly, that's not something you need to worry about as a new player. Just do fucking everything. It's whatever. I usually do as well. Um, and uh, once my once my delve 
wherever Nico is. Once my Delve fills up the bar, I will go to Delve. Heist, honestly, on Soul Cell Phone, you have to spam it a lot this day. If you are trainly, you don't necessarily need to do it, but it's just so rewarding. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Uberlove? Uberlove has changed, for those that don't know that. You now need, uh, just to be in yellow maps when you find a trial, you can also get an offering of the goddess from trade, or you can get it from, like, a ritual. But if you're trading, you can just buy an offering, and we could do Uberlove on Softcore right now. Um... For somebody that is confident about Zaro's moves. If not, maybe do it around like level 85. Uh, but you can do that whatever. You don't need to do a single trial anymore. Shibi, thank you for the 52 months. Other than that, we'd just be looking at gear upgrades. Obviously, everything is outlined in the guide under like late game gear and stuff. It is mostly rare, as you can see. Um, and like, yeah, cold iron point is really, really good. I just run everything in high style. But yeah, I think we'll end uh, our little, like, play with me adventure here uh, as the start of maps. And I think um, I will transfer back to SSF Hardcore and gear up the character and level. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Sub if you like the video. But more importantly, try to die less than I do.